Some of you guys may have seen the Reddit, you only need five whiskeys challenge. Well, I recently got challenged to come up with my five whiskeys. So we're going to do that today. Hey guys, thank you for being here today. So um, this one's gonna be a little bit of fun, uh, something a little different and interesting. And uh, as, I, as I mentioned, I got uh, challenged, you know, my, my man Freed on uh, Freed's first time Whiskey Tube uh, YouTube channel. So um, thank you Freed, I appreciate the uh, challenge mate. Challenge accepted. And the whole concept really revolves around five different whiskeys and those five whiskeys are your daily drinker, impress your guests, a mixer, your Friday night pour, and then a special occasion bottle. So that's what this is about today. So I'm going to take on my attempt at this. And uh, I thought a, a cool way for me to do it um, and might be kind of fun is I've come up with my list based upon only whiskeys that I actually have. Whiskeys in my cabinet, as you can see here behind me, but I do have a nice selection available in the cabinet. So I'm excited with what I've come up with and I think you guys will kind of like it. With that being said, let's jump in and begin with the first whiskey. Okay, so the first whiskey on the list is your daily drinker. If I'm going to drink something every day or at least in the sense of you know not condoning drinking every day but i guess in the terms of a go-to your go-to right it needs to be something that i enjoy it's dependable i can rely on it and it's going to give me that same feeling that i'm looking for just it works it's easy it's 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 what i what i turn to right and that whiskey for me is the lagavulin 16. So an absolute Isla classic, a staple in the whiskey world, and um, it's just dependable. I, I always work towards making sure there's a bottle of Lagavulin 16 on my shelf. It's, it's one that, that I don't need to think about. If I just want to pour myself a dram and enjoy a good whiskey and know that I'm not, uh, you know, having a guessing game, is this going to be, is it going to hit the mark, right? Every time, Lagavulin 16. So number one on the list, the daily drinker, Lagavulin 16 for me. Okay, number two on the list is a whiskey to impress your guests. Now, um, Freed, I really liked your concept here where you said, well, what, what type of guests are we talking about, right? Are we talking about guests that we have that that are very well experienced in the world of whiskey, your sort of whiskey circle that you regularly um, enjoy a dram with versus, you know, guests that, that aren't, say, whiskey enthusiasts or connoisseurs. So um, I'm, I'm cheating here a little bit and I'm going to uh, offer two different options for this whiskey. And for the first one, I'm going to use my my whiskey group of friends that, that know whiskey, right? This is the whiskey that that I would use to impress my guests. So that whiskey is a 17 year old Kalila, uh, independently bottled by Gordon and McPhail. It is a 55.6% ABV cask strength, uh, first fill bourbon barrel, single barrel, uh, one of 206 bottles. So I realize this is probably not an easily accessible bottle, but I, I took that out of context and we're focused on the bottles in my cabinet that I have available. And this is the one I would most certainly pull out to impress my guests if they were whiskey fanatics like I am. Now, the other side of the equation, if my guests weren't into whiskey at all, what would I bring out to impress them? I've chosen the Macallan Classic Cut from my shelf, 2001 edition. Now, the reason I've chosen this is because probably like me, when you first get into the journey of whiskey, you, you hear about Macallan and you 
believe that Macallan is the pinnacle of whiskey. So um, that that was what made me decide to, to use this as the example for if I want to impress guests that come over that, that aren't as familiar with whiskey as I am. So the Macallan Classic Cut 2001, and that's a cask strength bottling. So it may um, impress them a little too much if they're not familiar or used to drinking whiskey. Number three on my list, uh, a mixer whiskey. Now, any of you that probably follow along on my channel so far uh, and are familiar with my content, I don't mix whiskey. Uh, I, I very much love to drink whiskey neat. Uh, I'm, I'm on my whiskey journey to uncover and, and unpack and discover and learn about flavors and, and what the whiskey has to offer and showcase all the amazing work of the distilleries, right? Now, I, I had to think long and hard about this one. And uh, ultimately, my choice for the mixer whiskey is the Glen Moray 12 year old. Now, I only have a little sample bottle, so it's not that I've grown in size since the second whiskey that I've shown you guys. It's just a very small sample bottle. The reason I have picked this, as I say, it's, it's only whiskeys available to me in my cabinet. I've tried a sample of the Glen Moray 12 before, and it is super unimpressive and boring. So to me, I saw no merit in drinking it neat and it would probably be more value uh, as a mixer in a cocktail. Um, so that's why I've chosen this one. Yeah, it's a very average whiskey at best. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to mix, you know, some of the nicer whiskeys I have. So for this instance, we, we're going with the Glen Moray 12 as the mixer whiskey. Okay, number four on the list, a whiskey that you bring out on Friday night, right? The end of the week you want to pour that just is is not the daily drinker, the, the go-to, but something a little bit special in your collection that you, you only pull out, say, once a week or on occasion that when you want to indulge a little bit and treat yourself. And for me, that whiskey is the Glen Farkless 21-year-old. This is a fantastic sherried whiskey and incredible value and and the age statement being 21 years old. I'm a big, big fan of Glen Farkless. Uh, still a, a generational family business that prices whiskey for whiskey drinkers. So I think this is one that's uh, very much accessible to most people in most markets. Being that it's a 21 year old whiskey, and at least here in Australia, it's uh, around only $200. So uh, fantastic as a uh, accessible, bit of a nicer whiskey that you savor and go to when you want something a little bit special. So the Glen Farkless, 21 year old. To the final whiskey, number five on the Reddit five whiskeys challenge. And this one is a whiskey that you only have for special occasions and uh you know thank you freed for um uh, challenging me at, at a timing when i actually had good quality bottles that i could uh, address this challenge and and put something forward that's a little bit um higher or a bit more uh, extravagant than what i would normally have in my cabinet so for me based on what i have available to me my special occasion bottle is the lefroig 25 year old and it just so happens that i have this bottle because i am about to turn 40 years old and i got this uh, for my 40th birthday and uh, as you can see it's not opened yet so very much looking forward to uh opening this up as a special occasion whiskey uh, so uh you know what better special occasion than uh four decades of life and um yeah so that's my my choice for um number five the special occasion whiskey lefroig 25 year old that one i'm looking forward to very much uh 51.4 percent cask strength so uh i'll make a video about this one too when i finally open it now one of the cool things as as i said you know i got challenged by freed 
on um, on, on this uh, five whiskeys Reddit challenge, and that was part of the the concept is paying it forward. So I want to do the same thing. And um, now I'm going to tag three uh, whiskey tube YouTubers out there that I think are doing great stuff. Um, I love your videos. You know, you guys inspire me to make my content better and um, put out stuff that, you know, I watch, I not, not only create content like this, I, I, I consume a lot of it, I watch all you guys. So um, the first one on my list is the man himself, Jeff from G Whiskey uh, out in Taiwan. Uh, love your stuff, um, big fan of, of your reviews, your your uh, output is phenomenal, my friend. You put a lot of stuff out and um, your tasting notes are awesome. I can, I can definitely appreciate uh, your palate and, and how you approach your uh, your whiskey journey. So um, I know you do lists from time to time, but I couldn't find one where you had done a five whiskeys Reddit challenge. So uh, Jeff from G Whiskey, um, I'm, I'm challenging you to take the um, take it from here, my friend. On the next one, uh, I'm also going to challenge uh, another whiskey tuber that I, I, I stumbled across recently. Great production value. Uh, incredible sound quality, uh, good whiskeys, interesting concepts, the way that he approaches things. And that is Peter from uh, Whiskey is a Journey. And I think you're based in the States, Peter. Um, big, big fan, man. I really like what you're doing. I think your your content is uh, of such a great caliber and, and um, you know, it's, it's clear that you're a whiskey lover like I am. So um, again, I looked on your channel, couldn't see if you had done this challenge yet. So um, I'm calling you out, Peter. I challenge you to do the five whiskeys Reddit challenge as well. So uh, you're on, on the list, mate. And uh, one more person that I think is a, is a, a really, really cool um, style about him. And he has a, a just... Uh, entertaining uh, again video editing quality the lighting quality um, the content just the wealth of knowledge and information and that is Ben from the whiskey diary uh, out in Scotland uh, love your stuff man I, I, I'm a big fan I watch a lot of your videos the production quality again is top-notch just really really cool stuff and um, all, all three of you guys that I've that I've you know passed the challenge forward to are people that I love watching and I think you guys are doing great stuff in the whiskey whiskey tube world and um, I'm hoping that you know you guys jump on board with this concept as well thank you so much to Freed I know you're out in China so uh, this is very much a, a global thing and that's what I love about whiskey is you know like-minded people enjoying good quality drams together so thank you guys for checking this one out I've had a lot of fun doing this video and I uh, hope you like my list and uh, until the next one, as always, enjoy your whiskey responsibly. Thanks, Freed. Catch you guys later. Bye.